Welcome to the ProStructure's Concrete Modeling Learning Path. Now that we have completed the modeling of the concrete structure, let's add the reinforcement. Start off by reducing the complexity of the model by using the Level Manager to hide some of the elements. With all the levels on, just select the levels of the elements that you don't want to use at this stage. Switch off the following levels. PC Wall, PC Slab, PC Concrete, PC Beam, Grid Lines and Construction Lines. We will start at the base of our model and for that we need columns and path footings left on. Let's select the path footing under Home tab, Rebar Placement, Path Footing. ProStructures remembers the last values that you have entered, but you can change those at any other time. Enter the values as they are in the video and you can pause it for your convenience. In the End Conditions tab, you can add end conditions to each set of bars and by using the locks you can pair their configurations together. In the Dowel tab, you can configure the Dowel data or Starter Bar data if they are required. In the Assignments tab, you can define the classes and levels where the rebar will be placed once created. Now, with all the configuration complete, we need to define the footing element. Select the footing and then the column. You will notice that the reinforcement adapts to the path and column dimensions. Now, clone the reinforcement to the remaining paths and columns. When done, right-click to finish and then accept the reinforcement with the OK button. To add the reinforcement to strip footing, you will need to access the path footing submenu by clicking on the drop-down and selecting the continuous strip footing option. A dialog will open with the last information used to configure the rebar and you can change it at any time by selecting and changing the values. To isolate an element, you can hover over it and press and hold right-click in the menu and select Display Set. Now with the main rebar data captured, you can also add lab options in the next tab if you have a long footing to reinforce. End conditions for each set of rebar can also be defined and locks can assist you in setting up the configuration. In the Assignment tab, you can define the classes and levels where the rebar will be placed once created. Now with the configuration complete, we need to define the footing element. Now you can hover over the element, long press right click and select display set clear, and you will be able to see all the other elements in the model. You have now learned how to add rebar to footing elements. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.